Let's begin our tutorial with a little overview of SSD. What is SSD? SSD stands for Single Shot Multi Box Detector. Single shot means that the tasks of object localization and classification are done in a single forward pass of the network. To understand the advantages of single forward pass, let's look at a fast RCNN model first. In brief, fast RCNN first generates region proposals by selective search, then a CNN-based network is used to classify the object class, and to detect the bounding box. So, using our CNN requires two shots. Meanwhile, SSD uses a fully convolutional approach, in which the network can find all objects within an image, in one pass. Thus, SSD is much faster than the two-shot regional proposal network-based approaches. SSD utilizes small convolution filters to predict object classes and bounding box locations for different aspect ratios and does so across multiple feature maps from the later stages of the network. This allows SSD to aggregate detections at multiple scales. Now let's see SSD in action. In this example, Pascal Voke trained model weights are used. SSD is able to achieve around 27 FPS with a GTX 1070 Ti graphic board. To get an SSD model, follow this link and get clone or download it. Also, Make sure that you have all the required packages, and they are in correct versions. This is how the SSD Keras folder will look like. To execute recognition, we need weights file. Move to the SSD Keras homepage and download the SSD 300 weights file. Move an H5 file to the SSD Keras folder. We will modify the SSD 300 inference file. As you can see, in the original code, recognition is being executed on the images file, but we will modify this code to do recognition using a USB camera. Let's look into modified code. To read images from the camera and to calculate FBS. CV2 and time at library should be installed. In the class names array, classes that will be recognized are written. In this part, the frame color of boundary boxes for each class is defined. Input shape means that SSD model will expect that 300 by 300 RGB image size will be used as an input. This is where the SSD network is defined. As we will use pre-trained weights you don't have to change anything here. Also, you can find an explanation for each parameter at the SSD Keras homepage. Here we define the weights file we previously downloaded. In this part, the method for parameter optimization and loss function are set. In this case, Atom is used as an optimizer. Hyperparameter setting is also common. Here we define that we will use a USB camera. Also, image width and height are received. This is where the video frames from USB camera are being read. Here, the image from the USB camera is converted to appropriate size and format to execute recognition task. If prediction result confidence factor is bigger than the threshold value, it is stored to an array. Here, the recognition result is printed. In this part, coordinates for upper left and lower right vertices of boundary box are extracted. Here boundary box and class name are drawn on the image. And finally, we calculate FPS and draw it on the image as well. Now let's open a terminal and execute the program. 